Welcome back everybody. Like usual, I'm on standby for work. So that's why I may have to drop this and run at any point in time. So if you see stuff take over, you know why. And for work purposes, yes, I did have to get rid of this, but don't worry, it'll grow back. So right now we're going to set up, we got the watering system set up for the garden. We've got it running right now. Um, nothing's planted. We're just gonna let it give it a good soak for about an hour just to help it out and then shut it off. Um, since we've got that going, we're gonna set up the water barrel system for the, the egg layers right now, since now we have water. So this is a black uh, hose that we just basically use. I'm just gonna connect it here and I'm gonna to explain to you what this all setup is. So there's nothing fancy about this. I put a sprinkler on here if I ever need to water the grass in this area a little better. This is an on off valve and all this is made out of three quarters. And inside here is a filter. And the reason why we do this filter is so that it stops any bugs or gunk going into the water barrel so it helps out. So we pull it out quite regularly, check it, clean it, put it back in and put and seal it back up. So all I'm going to do is slowly turn this back on and it should push water out of the other end of the hose. and probably scare the chickens half to death. So we have lots of good pressure, so I like to turn it down so that it's manageable. So um, how we set this up is we just plumbed it off of one of the sprinkler heads. So if you've got something like this, you, you can do this too. And this is actually what I use to do our pressure washing. For pressure washing, we hook a garden hose up off of one of these to do with the pressure washing on the farm for the vehicles, some of the, the buildings, etc. So let's finish filling up the water barrel. So I just put some garden hose ends on. Most of the time this stays on grass, so this will leak. It doesn't really bug me. It means the grass gets a nice, really good drink. Um, it's very crucial to me to have some control. So basically, I'm just gonna pop this off quick. Put some water in here and just flush out the system. That kinked, that kinked, that kinked. There we go. So this is just irrigation water that we use. Um, basically, we get it pumped in from uh, the pivot that runs here and onto the dugout that's way over there. And basically that's how we fill it up when it needs to be filled. And we just pump, we have an electric pump on the bank. And that's how that works. So now that we have good water coming out, I'm just gonna pull this out for a minute and just kind of let it drip out just a little bit. And all we're doing is just flushing the system. I personally don't think we're gonna have any issues. So. All right, I'm gonna put this back in. Now I'm just gonna hook up the end of my hose. Just like so. And fill up the water barrel. This way they have access to outside water instead of running inside. We're still gonna keep the inside water system going for them, just in case that they're inside they need a drink. It's always good to have water all over the place. Um, once we're done this, Steph will reinstall those uh, watering cups that you've seen. Us when we put the tubes all in to the buildings and basically uh, make sure that uh, uh, there's no major leaks. And if there is major leaks, well, we'll deal with it when it comes. So.
I'm just gonna come inside here and just bleed this out. Excuse me, chicken. Now, if this does leak outside, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Um, these guys don't mind a little bit of water. And it doesn't look like it's dripping rather than out of here. Now, keep in mind with irrigation water, it's uh, high in calcium too. So any little drips like this will just eventually uh, seal itself up. So we got good water. That's that. Hi. Oh, yeah, the end is loose. There we go. Hand tight. That was the noise I was hearing. Okay, that's it. So, thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.